Hello, welcome to Inner Peace Now. My name is Adam, and today I'm going to answer a question on negative family members. So the question is, I love my family, but my sister-in-law isn't so easy to deal with. She always demands people to help her when she's in trouble, and I don't mind helping others, but recently she doesn't really ask for help. She just expects me to do it because she said. I try to stay away from her and keep our conversation at a minimum to try to stay away from her energy, but she is family. How can I deal with someone like her and still try to maintain my inner peace? I don't want to be considered someone that doesn't help others and contradict what I believe, but I really can't stand helping someone that is ungrateful. Am I still doing the right thing for myself, even if I turn my back on her, for not helping her in a time of need? So thank you for your question. Um, if someone ex just expects you to do something for them, and they're not grateful for any help that you give them, and you don't want to do something for them, then you just don't have to do anything. You don't owe anyone an explanation why. You don't owe anybody any action. Maybe she's gotten used to you always being there for her, um, always helping her whether she is grateful for it or not. And maybe there's a part of you that feels that to be a good person, you always have to help people. So then everyone wants to be a good person. And if you believe that, you'll keep feeling almost indebted to her slightly, like you, like a part of you thinks you should be helping or should be doing something. And then another part of you says, no, don't. You, this answer is almost too simple, but you just don't have to do anything. There's, there's quite a lot of power in in not reacting to someone and not needing to give someone your energy. Um, you mentioned, I don't want to be considered someone that doesn't help others and contradict what I believe. So that might be your main conflict. And as long as you always want to be seen as someone who helps others, then you won't allow yourself to not go to someone's apparent aid every time every little thing arises. See if you can feel how it feels to be looked at as someone who doesn't help people or to be perceived as someone who is selfish or uncaring and feel how uncomfortable that feels and let that let that uncomfortable sense of judgment from others or from yourself really just be there and feel it fully and see what happens if it gets as strong as it wants to become because there's always a fear of being judged a certain way so we try to avoid doing anything that leads to us being judged that way because we think it's dangerous to be judged that way like we will get smaller or we will lose our identity but see if it's something to be afraid of if you feel yourself being judged as selfish maybe there's an image of your parents or your sister telling you that you're selfish or that you don't help and see what happens if you let that become very strong without resistance without your resistance to it. You might find that it actually doesn't make a difference. At first it's a surface discomfort that you feel, which then is perceived to be just that, a surface discomfort, which gradually weakens the less you resist it. And the less you resist it, then you realize that these surface judgments are quite meaningless, that they're just kind of feelings on top of your being or on top of your energy and that they're not real and they're so uncomfortable because we resist them and no matter how we are judged from others or by ourselves, the awareness in the background the empty space is always the same and isn't affected by judgments 
So it sounds like maybe your issue is there's a conflict between how you want to be seen and how you want to act. So just become comfortable with, with letting people think what they want, like giving them the freedom to think how they want to think and feel how they want to feel. And you don't have to fix people. A lot of the time we're, when we get labelled as selfish, it's often because the other person wants us to do what they want us to do. And if we don't do it, then often the label can come, oh, you're just being selfish, you only care about yourself. But there's also nothing wrong with caring about yourself first and foremost. You have to have energy in life. You have to be at peace in life. And if you feel someone is taking away your energy or draining you or disturbing you, then you can't do anything good really from that position. From a place of resentment or feeling drained, everything you do will carry on that energy anyway, it will carry a sense of heaviness or resentment. So you have to prioritize yourself and how you feel and realize that that is the, the foundation of your life and that everything comes from how you feel and how, how much energy you have. So let your own inner state be the most important thing just for now and accept how you feel accept that you don't want to keep jumping every time your sister expects something from you and the less in conflict with yourself and your own feelings you are then the more easy it is to also communicate your feelings if you want to it's always difficult to communicate feelings that we are in conflict with inside of ourselves or feelings that we just don't like or think shouldn't be there or wish weren't there but if you can fully accept how you feel like there's no more energy in you to keep kind of giving with no with no cycle no no exchange then you can easily just express those feelings when, you, when you're not in conflict with them. You can just say, oh, I feel like this. I feel like you don't, you're you just not even appreciating anything and there's no exchange here or, or however you feel. And it's also a willingness to let other people become uncomfortable within themselves because if you don't do everything someone asks of you, because you just don't have the energy for it then people will often get upset and the upset and the kind of rebellion of, of anger or insults or judgment is a tactic to get you to do what they want you to do and normally it works, people are guilted into things a lot of the time people can make each other feel bad in in an attempt to get them to act a certain way. And if you do feel bad, just accept, just let yourself feel bad for a moment rather than hating that you feel bad or wishing you didn't feel bad. Because if you don't want to feel bad and you're conditioned to think action is the only way to fix that, then you'll probably often find yourself still pulled to do things that you don't want to do. Just let yourself feel however you feel. and realize you don't owe anyone anything. You don't owe explanations, actions, or reactions.
Your last point was, am I still doing the right thing for myself, even if I turn my back on her for not helping her in her time of need? Now, it depends how, how in need she really is, I suppose. If she's actually in need, then you probably you probably just act without, without thinking about it. Like if she was really in need, then it wouldn't become an issue. But maybe she's not actually in need and she's become dependent on you to do things. And it's natural for you to not want to support that because it breeds a kind of weakness and it's natural to not want to see that in someone close to you, particularly someone in your family. So I can't answer that completely. Um, but you can be led by your heart and that and how you feel. Um, and see what you have energy for, what feels natural to help with, and and what just doesn't. You don't have to force things. And also, when you're not around her, you might feel her energy on you a bit, like it's heavy. Or especially when she's around, you can feel something kind of pressing on you. So when you're not around her, and that feeling is there, let that kind of heaviness be as it is. And if you kind of bow to it a bit, and almost embrace it, then you might find that the heaviness can't really stick around so much if if you're more open and less trying to push it away you can accept the the feeling of her like maybe the oppressive feeling kind of welcome it in a in a light and maybe see her kind of her energy moving away from you a bit and moving back into herself like you give her energy back to herself you don't want to keep anything of hers um, And that might feel difficult, and the image of her might be very resistive to that. But focus more on your own light, your own energy. And let your sense of self come from within you, rather than from kind of here, up in the head or out from the world. Let it come from inside. And you can even imagine yourself, if this resonates for you, in kind of a, a protective bubble, like a white bubble or a blue bubble that only allows the finest vibrations to enter and that doesn't tolerate negativity, doesn't allow negativity to, to enter through it. So maybe there's more I could say. Um, and if I haven't answered something, just feel free to comment below. Thanks for watching.